Adding crushed coral to your tank is one of the best ways to raise your tank water's pH if your fish require it, like these African cichlids. Crushed coral contains minerals that are released into the water as your water becomes more acidic, or in other words, as your nitrate levels rise, which happens in all of our tanks. These minerals add buffer to your water and help to raise and stabilize the pH. But something many hobbyists don't realize is that crushed coral doesn't last forever. It will eventually deplete. So the method of how you add crushed coral to your tank is important. Not that any one way is better than the other, just that it's up to your personal preference of how you wanna maintain it. There are two main ways of adding and using crushed coral in your tank. One is gonna be adding it into your filter, which will provide the best buffering power due to the high flow of nitrate rich water running through it. This will release plenty of those minerals from the coral. The negative here is that it's going to deplete much faster due to the high flow rate in your filter and need to be replaced more frequently. But it isn't that hard to just wait for a scheduled filter cleaning, reach into the filter, remove the bag of crushed coral and replace it with a new bag and you're done. If you've got your bag of crushed coral inside your HOB filter, it's even easier to reach in there and replace. The next method is to use it directly in your tank as your substrate. This method allows for the coral to work as it should for the longest period of time because there's much less flow on the coral and any coral that's underneath the surface of the substrate is getting even less flow and will last even longer. But have you realized the negative yet? Using this method does not change the fact that all of your coral will eventually deplete and need to be replaced. And replacing all of your substrate is not fun, trust me. From my experience with my specific tank setup, meaning overstocked, uh, no plants, high nitrates every week, my aragonite sand lasted me about one year before needing replacement. And yes, aragonite does exactly the same as crushed coral, it'll buffer your water. Only difference is that sand is too fine of a particle to go inside a bag and inside your filter, it'll just get sucked right through. So with sand, your only option is to use it as a substrate. Well, since I did have to replace my aragonite sand a few weeks ago, I decided to go with this beautiful black diamond blasting sand. Check that video out right there. Only problem is this sand is not aragonite, it's not coral, and it has no buffering capabilities. It will not raise the pH of this tank water. So what I've been doing during every water change since the switch to keep my pH around 8.0, where these guys really love it, I've been adding Malawi buffer during every water change, which works great, but a natural method of raising your pH that stays in your tank that doesn't need dosing during every water change is a preferred method. So today I'm gonna try a third method of adding crushed coral to my tank. My guy Patrick, excellent moderator over in my Facebook group, gave me the great idea to add it behind my background. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll be putting my coral inside some media bags and it'll be hidden nicely behind my background. Adding it this way gives me all the positives and none of the negatives of either method previously discussed. It'll get less flow there in the tank and behind the background than being inside my filter, so it'll last much longer. But when it's time to replace it, I won't have to replace my entire substrate. I'll just grab the bags out from behind and replace with new bags. Okay. Now I understand that everyone doesn't have a background to hide a bag of coral behind, but I'm sure you have a big piece of decor or some plants that a bag of crushed coral could easily hide behind, out of sight, and you'll never notice it there. You could also get some of these cool rocks I got from aquadecorbackgrounds.com that are fake and hollow and put a bag of coral inside the rock. What? Make sure you use my code CAVEMAN10 for a 10% discount. Make sure that you rinse that bag of crushed coral thoroughly before putting it into your tank. This has just as much dust as any new substrate you're gonna add to your tank. So rinse it well. I know some of you guys may be asking, why am I even bothering with all this trouble trying to raise my pH? And the answer is because that's what these African cichlids require. Can they survive in any old pH? Sure, but I have a motto here in the channel. I don't want my fish to survive. I want them to thrive. Wow! So check that video out on why it's important to keep them in the pH levels they require, along with more general information on pH. And yeah, I know I got a big old blood parrot in here. For you guys, I got a video too. Check it out right there. And I'll see you on the other side.